Swish! Hi friends, I'm gonna teach you today how to throw a yo-yo. Once you know the very basics, you practice a lot, and you never give up, you can get off to a great start. Pretty soon, you'll be doing tricks like the forward pass throw that you just saw. To start, you'll need to know two ways to throw your yo-yo. First is the underhanded throw, which is a great way to throw the Ned yo-yo or a boomerang. To do an underhand throw, you're gonna let the yo-yo go down, and when it's halfway through its trip, you pull up. Let me show you. The second throw is the overhand throw. This throw allows you to do sleeping tricks. If you have the boomerang yo, then this is always a good throw as it will open the clutch and allow it to spin. If you have a cosmic spin, then this is a throw to go with because it will help you get your yo-yo to sleep long enough so it can return to your hand. Let me explain it. Make a muscle right in front of your face. Throw it hard with a soft landing. Before it runs out of spin, tug it up. Common questions! As you play with your yo-yo, you're probably going to ask yourself a few questions that have to do with the throw. Let's talk about them now. This question comes from Eddie Throwslaw in Yotown, England. Eddie asks, why does my yo-yo go sideways when I throw it? Well, Mr. Throws a lot, that's a wonderful and very popular question. Well, the answer will be to keep your hand parallel to the ground. If your yo-yo goes sideways to the left at the bottom when you throw it, that's a sign that your hand was tilted to the left when you threw it. If your yo-yo goes sideways to the right like this, then that means that when you threw it, it was tilted to the right. But to actually have a perfect straight throw, you'll need to work on these three things. First, you need to take the flat part of your hand and put it parallel to the ground, exactly like this. Then you'll need to align your flat and level palm to the rest of your arm. Finally, you'll need to make sure your string wraps around the top and not underneath. So practice that and you'll have a nice and straight throw. Let's hear another question. This one's from right-handed Renee. Why does my string get wound up super tight when I play with my yo-yo? Hmm. What a great question. See how that yo-yo turns a half turn every time I throw? This causes the yo-yo string to get really tight as you play. And if you use a Ned yo-yo as a sleeper without one loop at the bottom, this will keep that yo-yo from sleeping. Maybe you're like left-handed Luke, and he's asking, Why does my string get looser as I play with my yo-yo? I bet left-handed Luke has seen this before. For you left-handed players, the string is actually getting looser every time you catch and re-throw it. And if you have a Ned yo-yo on the sleep mode, the loop around the axle becomes larger and there's not enough friction for the yo-yo to catch and return to your hand. No matter what hand you throw it with, you're always going to need a way to get your string back to normal or neutral. Here's the most common method. When your string is too tight or too loose, you just simply let it hang. The string has a memory, so it'll stop when it's supposed to. And here's another way. Here's another way, the flying saucer. If you throw it right, it will tighten, but if you throw it to the left, it will loosen. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just think about the words, never give up. While those words are so important, we still need a reminder to take a break and unwind before we start back up again. It's a great reminder. We'll see you out there.